Hello everyone and welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. I'm excited to bring this wonderful recipe to you today for Asian style beef steak on a bed of basmati rice. This is one of our favorites and it's very appetizing and savory. Before we get right to the recipe, first check out my new cookbook. It's available on Amazon and I've provided a quick link in the description below this video. Alright, so let's get started with making this wonderful beef dish. It all begins with some strip loin beef steaks. Remove off the excess fat and cut it in thin strips. These strips will be a good quarter of an inch thick. And we'll cut enough of it to make about one and a half pounds of beef. So what I do is I slice it in strips, place it on a little plate, and I weigh it. Now my scale will give me imperial as well as metric, so I'm going to be weighing in pounds and ounces. I have a good one pound, 8.3 ounces here. So let's go ahead and coat it with a little bit of cornstarch. We'll put three tablespoons of cornstarch into a medium sized mixing bowl. Prepare your beef slices by adding salt and pepper. Just sprinkle a little salt and pepper over the whole thing and mix it in. We'll add our beef slices to that cornstarch and coat it evenly. And just get your hands right in there and mix it in until each piece is coated. Cook up some basmati rice ahead of time so that it's ready when you need it. I'm cooking up about a cup and a half of basmati rice. This will give me about three or four cups once it's cooked. Alright, on to making the sauce for the beef. Just preparing a few simple ingredients and let's get started with the cooking. Here I'm adding two tablespoons of virgin olive oil to a large frying pan. Turn your heat on medium high and go ahead and add two teaspoons of minced garlic. Turn your heat down a little bit and add one tablespoon of minced ginger. This will spit and spatter a little bit so be careful that you don't burn yourself, but go ahead and stir it with a large spoon. And let these saute for a couple of minutes. And quickly add your coated beef strips. Stir it a little bit so that the beef has oil on it and it can brown up nicely. And it also spreads out the flavor of the garlic and ginger more evenly. The heat will still need to be medium high at this point and lightly brown the beef. And when there's no more pink in it, it's done and you can take it out of the pan and put it on a plate. Using the same frying pan with the beef drippings in it, we'll go ahead and make our sauce. Add a good one third of a cup of soy sauce and a packed quarter cup of light brown sugar and also a quarter of a cup of water. Turn your heat on high and use a large spoon and stir it so that it's well combined. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Let it come to a boil and then let it simmer until it reduces and thickens up a little bit. And that will take just a few minutes, maybe three to five minutes. Go ahead and add your beef now and because it has cornstarch on the beef, it'll thicken your sauce even more. Using your large spoon, stir it so that the beef is evenly coated with the sauce. Continue to do this until it looks like it's nice and thick and evenly coated. Add a few roasted sesame seeds and you're ready to place this on a bed of rice. So let's go ahead and serve this up. This is one awesome dish. Are you ready? So let's just do this. Now go ahead and add a few more of the roasted sesame seeds to decorate the top. And we're ready to eat this. So what do you think? Do you want some? Now you can go ahead and make your own. You have the recipe. Let me know what you think. And happy eating until I talk to you next time. And thanks for giving this video a thumbs up. And I appreciate your support.